Welcome back, apprentices, to more lightning experience. So last video, I stumbled around trying to find the sales pipeline view, and I could not find it. But thanks to Ryan Headley over at Radio Web, uh, he directed me how to get there. So we're going to start by clicking on the Opportunities tab, or menu. I'm not sure what we're going to call this now. And then select a list view. So we're going to select all opportunities. So this is our standard wonderful list view. Uh, a few things I noticed is... I don't seem to do inline edit on here, which is sad. Uh, one other thing that was kind of cool is if you click on the nice little button here, we get a little pie chart by stage, fiscal period, or account. That's pretty cool. Look how fast that is. That's amazing. If we click this button, we have the option grid, which is, I guess, our regular list, and then board. So here's our pipeline board. What it's really nifty about this is we can see all the stages going across. And then as we drag and drop things, the dollar values are instantly being updated. And this is based on list view, which means if you have multiple record types or other different things that you usually manage by, you'll be able to filter just by creating a list view, which you probably already have. But I love this. Look how cool this is. There are some alerts here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to customize these. We can see there's no open activities and prompts us to go create a new task. Which if we do this, we go, hello. And let's pick a due date of tomorrow. And uh, let's leave that blank. Not started. And there, our alert disappeared. I did get one question, which had some concerns about this pipeline, this drag and drop option and validation rules. What if you have a validation rule that requires fields to be filled in before you're able to move the stage? So I did a test. I have a validation rule that requires the description field to be filled in whenever you get to value proposition. So let's move this opportunity over. And you notice what happened. It went back and it popped up and said, you counted some errors when trying to save your opportunity. You must have a description filled in. So you must have a description filled in this is my validation error message that I put. So it is going to respect that. What I think is really cool about this, and I, I'm ashamed to say I've been doing this over and over again, is that the numbers immediately update and then reverse back. Look how quick. That, that's, just, that's just cool. I'm sorry. I'm a nerd. What can I say? The other option that we have is we still have our little show chart, so we can have our chart showing up here. As so, as we move things around, uh, is the chart can update too. Huh? Huh? Oh. Let's see. Qualifications? No, the chart doesn't update as we. Oh, that's sad. Looks like it will refresh if you close down the chart and open it back up or my guess is if you switch between these options here to go back to our wonderful grid we go here so let's go back to grid move this so one thing that i see that is missing from this list view in addition to being able to do inline edits which i'm gonna really miss is there's no chatter list um for people who aren't familiar with it, if you're using Chatter on your opportunities, you had a little option to switch between the list and being able to see some of the recent posts on the Chatter, which was really helpful for some sales manager to kind of get an idea of what's recently been occurring on their opportunities. The last thing I want to show is custom buttons. So I had someone say that, you know, the buttons still exist. We see edit, new case, new note up at the top here. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch back to Salesforce Classic. And let's take a look at our opportunity. So I have three custom buttons here. And in the lightning opportunity, or I'm sorry, in the lightning experience view, I have none of those buttons. So your custom buttons, it doesn't matter if they're URL, Visual Force page or JavaScript do not show up in the Lightning experience, at least as of this pre-release. So there's a quick 
look at the sales pipeline board as well as custom buttons no longer being there. Hope you're like this. And remember, magic is out there. It's yours for the taking. Be sure to check out some of the other videos, including the Visual Workflow Wizard Apprentice series, our Wizard Apprentice series for Process Builder, the time when Mark Ross and I dressed up as Flonatics for Dreamforce, and of course, the blooper reel from the admin parody we did for Dreamforce 2014.